Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Design tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over how to start making a grid floor plan. Now, what you're going to start with is you're going to come over to the layers and create just an extra layer called the wall layer. Now this is where all your edits for the wall will go, and uh, this is just the image, the background image of a just basic floor plan. So the first thing you want to do is hit command quotes and that will bring up your grids. Now, it might be hard to see, but these grids are right here, and these are all lines. Now, right now it's set to a mode that whenever you zoom in, it will continually make grids, so you can continue to make it. But what you want is to go to the grid axis manager and right now show grid and use automatic grid are selected. Now show grid since the grid is already being shown is selected and use automatic grid is being selected. You want to uncheck this and leave the spacing where it is and the divisions where it is and go into advanced and click uniform. Now this will make everything more uniform and it will make everything just a whole lot easier. Next, what you can do is come to the background layer and zoom in where you want the grids to line up. You probably really need to line up I'm actually going to bring the spacing down just a little bit because the picture is smaller than a usual picture but we're going to just move it up to line it up with the grid and then we can move it over so it's sort of in right there now you're going to lock this layer and this layer being locked means that it's not going to move from where you want it right now. And this is how you're going to get it into the basic shape that you want it. So the corners are where you want it. And the next thing you have to do is come over to the pen tool. Now what you want the pen on is you're going to want to come up to here and click polygon mode. And you're going to come over to the stroke and you want the cap to be the butt cap, you want the join to be the miter join, and you want the align to be align stroke to center. And that is all for the first part of this tutorial. This tutorial will be continued in the next part where we show you how to go over all the lines and make doors and windows and um, and entry points. This will be a ongoing series. It will probably be uh, two to four episodes. I'm not sure how long yet, but we're going to have multiple episodes of this. And this is just the first part, so if you like this part on setting up, uh, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe for more, and stay tuned for the next part of the tutorial.